What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today's video, I've got two brand new hot toys. Let's open them up. What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol. Today, uh, like I said, I've got two hot toys I've been waiting on for a little while. I was expecting three. I, I was expecting three, but we ended up with two, so I thought, Let's open these guys up. Let's take a look at them. Let's see if they're arrived in good condition. Let's just see what they're all about, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button while we're talking about it. Comment down below if you would like to see more hot toys on the channel. Because, honestly, I got a lot more coming. It's just it's one of those things. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. I got my unboxing knife. If you didn't know, um, I've got these from Sideshow Collectibles. I will put a link to this particular hot toy in the description below in case you want to pick them up. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now you can see it's a very it's a very big box, okay? Because I actually bought two of the exact same figure and uh, you'll see why here in just a second. So we'll see. I got these, uh, what they call uh, pack out, P-A-C-K O-U-T, pack out, because I like them being nice and secure and you can see what happens when you do that. They actually package them just like this, and um, we got all this kind of paper and stuff. We got, yeah, we have stuff. So, yay. So my studio can be a mess once again. Uh, we got a notice from Sideshow, exchange return policy, we got that going on, and we have two hot toys. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now, like I said, I've got two of the exact same figure. We'll put one right there. We'll put one, ugh, and we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of that. And here they are, guys. These are shipper boxes. For those of you new to the Hot Toys world, uh, these are actually the shipper boxes. For whatever reason, people like collecting these things. It's like uh, they're even more particular about Hot Toys than they are pops. Like the box has got to be in good condition. With Hot Toys, not only does the box have to be in good condition, but the actual box that it had the box in it has to it's a anyways i don't understand it that's just how people are so um here we go guys we're gonna open this thing up and uh see what we got i am super excited for these uh i don't know why i don't know i just thought they look cool i bought two for very specific display purposes and uh once you see what they are you will understand of course you might already know because i might have put it in the thumbnail and the title and all that kind of fun stuff i don't know what i've done yet because i haven't done it so there's that there's one. There you go. You can see what it is already. All right. So there's one. Let's go ahead and get the other one opened up. Let's see here. I don't think... Uh, I, I think it's been a minute since I've actually unboxed a hot toy on the channel. But if you guys know, I have quite a few. And I have quite a few coming. And so... Um, I hope you like them. Yes, I do. All right. So we've got this guy. Come on. You. You. Oh! All right. Okay. So I've got I've got two hot toys here, guys. Again, they're the same thing. These are the Royal Guards. These are the guys that protect Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious, whatever name you want to know them by. But they come uh, bagged and uh, in the box. So we're gonna open uh, both these guys up because, I, like I said, I have a very specific display purpose for these guys. And if you like Star Wars Hot Toys and you like the original trilogy, I think these are kind of a must. And I know some people were debating buying them at all, and then those who bought them were debating buying one or buying two or whatever. And I said, you know what? I think, I think these hot toys, I may be totally wrong, but I think these hot toys are going to be sought after as soon as they get sold out. Because that's just how the hot toy world lands um, on collectibles. And it's a lot like the pop community, where uh, as soon as something sells out, like the price just goes crazy. Uh, hot toys do the same thing. And so I think those of you who have uh, slept on this figure and want it later on, I think you're going to end up paying above retail. Now, these things retail for $205 a piece, if I remember correctly. And I had some reward points and all that kind of fun from, uh, from uh, Sideshow. But I think these are going to be pushing the $300 range uh, on the aftermarket, secondary market, uh, once Sideshow's um, inventory is deplenished and all the other guys. I, I think that's where we're going to end up. So 
you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see what happens, but um, that's just what I think. So let's go ahead. I'll tell you what, we're going to put one of them down here on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and unbox one of them. You guys can see the box art. There is the Royal Guard. Check him out. I think he's super cool. Look at, I mean, the photos are just awesome. For you guys who have not seen Star Wars Hot Toys before, this is what they look like. All the boxes are pretty much the same. The side has the little black and gray gradient. The back has about who made it and stuff like that. Don't eat the box and that kind of stuff. So there is the art box. And like I said, you do not want to get rid of the shipper box because people collect those too. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. So Hot Toys Plop. That's what they call that. It's a shoebox style box. Uh, you definitely do not want these damaged and they always put a little cover art in there Which I think is pretty awesome. So there's the insert art if you guys want to check that out They always do a really really good job uh, On making these things look awesome. So we're gonna do that. We'll put that boy right there And I look I got the red LEDs because of the red figure Woo! This thing is beautiful guys. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna take him out of the clamshell here All right so we really don't need that. There's there's nothing in there. It's just it's a box. So here it goes, guys. Um, now this particular guy doesn't come with a lot of accessories, but he doesn't really need many. So there he is. There he is in the clamshell. He's got his uh, extra hands. He's got his weapon, and you can see he's got a long cloak. Now there have been uh, on the forums there have been uh, photos floating around where this guy's had a blemish in the fabric cloak. And so we definitely want to check that out and make sure there's no issues there. Uh, I, I've only seen two figures that had that problem, but we want to make sure that we don't have that problem. So we might have to exchange it, return it, whatever we got to do. But just right off the bat, I can tell you, uh, and also sometimes they send you like two of the same hand and you got you to gotta be careful of that. All right, so just overall first glimpse at this guy, I can tell you, let's see here. Do we have a blemish? That is the question. And I'm going to say, I think we might. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I think we might. I think we might have a blemish on this guy. Now, it may be me, it may be the lighting, and it may be there's a blemish on this actual figure. But if you look right here, guys. Oops. Um, well, we'll take him out of the package. It doesn't matter. Let's take him out. Uh, and it might be just me uh, being paranoid. I don't know. Uh, but And it might just be the way the fabric was laying on his knee. But when you pay a couple hundred dollars for a figure, you don't want issues. But I will tell you, this cloak is freaking gorgeous. Wow. Man. All right. So let's take this guy out. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm not sure how well that's going to come across on camera. But let's see if we can't make that happen. But right about here, I can't tell if it's a blemish, like a lightning bleach color, or it's just an indention from his knee because it was in the packaging. And it might just be that. Uh, it might just be an indention. So uh, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the other figure and see if that's indeed something we want to uh, address and um, exchange for another one. Because Sideshow is very good about that. If there's an issue with the figures, I mean, this is like no questions asked. Send them a picture. They're done. They'll send you. It's it's really easy, guys. So if you get something like that from these guys, uh, inspect it, take photos, document it, send it out. Now the best form of documentation, have a YouTube channel. There it is. So <laughs> I guess that's. It. There's no questioning what what happened here. So uh, the back of this cloak. It's just got normal wrinkles from shipping, guys. And over time, uh, I imagine some people are going to do a water treatment on these, if I had to guess. Uh, that probably going to happen. But just overall feel of the fabric. This is not cheap stuff. This is this is nice, heavy. It's got some weight to it. So there is the uh, over cloak. And it's like um, there's multiple layers to it. Yeah, there's multiple layers to this. So you got the inside dark uh, red. But then the inside, you've got, look, even darker. And uh, there's the figure. I know that might be kind of weird, but that's what it looks like. So underneath, if you guys are curious about that. Oh, let's go this way. There we go. So there's the undercloak. You guys want to check that out? The little belt, right? Uh, as you can see, it's definitely got, it's more of a purplish tone, a dark burgundy, maho I don't say mahogany, a dark purplish color underneath. So the contrast and colors is awesome. It is awesome. Awesome. It, I mean, it really is. It's really cool. Um, you can see the head sculpt there with the helmet. You can see that guy. 
Uh, so, you know, these guys didn't have a whole lot of accessories because they didn't really do a whole lot in the actual films, right? They kind of stood there, they protected the Emperor, and by protecting, I mean they stood there. And that's pretty much what they did. Uh, they did have these, uh, these weapons, which are very minimalist. They're not sabers or anything, they're just weapons. So the hands we got, guys, we got one of these, uh, this is a right fisted hand if he's actually holding this guy, like in his hand, in the gripping it. Uh, he's got a uh, right thumb thing holding it as well. He's got a left clenching fist. And this hand right here, this should be, is this the left? Yeah, this is the left. So this guy right here, let's see if we can get the other hand. Where are you at? So the, as far as the cloak goes, it only opens on one side because he's typically... So I think about 99% of the people who have this figure or two figures like I do are going to display him just like this in the cabinet flanking the Emperor. Uh, we've got Vader up in the cabinet. The Emperor Palpatine is coming whenever they decide to ship the thing. I got that one with the deluxe throne. It's LED lights. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's a thing. So anyways, I got this guy. I'm going to go ahead and open up the second one and see if uh, he has this little mark kind of right there because honestly, that's probably going to bug me knowing that I just literally took him out of the box and yeah. All right, guys, we got both guys out of the package, and I think uh, I think we're pretty good. I think we're I think we're good on on both items. Um, looking kind of closer to it, I think the first figure, I think the, the cloth thing is just something where it was leaning against the knee pad, uh, and I think that over time it's just going to flatten out. I don't think there's going to be an issue there. But seeing two of these guys, now the question was when I bought them was buy one, buy two. I immediately bought two because I thought flanking them side by side against the emperor i thought would be amazing and i wanted to show you one thing all right so i got vader out of the cabinet and you can see exactly why i bought two of these guys i mean look at them they're freaking beautiful and i can't <laughs> i can't wait to throw them in the cabinet with the lighting and everything i will put some photos on instagram so if you haven't followed me on instagram definitely do that at jetta patrol i'll put a link in the description below but i'm gonna tell you right now i am super Super happy with these guys. The quality of the cloaks are on par with uh, with Vader. Like his cloak is amazing as well. But you can see like the contrast between the red, uh, the red guards and the uh, and the black Vader. And it's just oh man, I'm telling you, I'm happy guys. I'm pretty happy about that. Now I've got even more hot toys on the way. I'm actually going to be showcasing some that I already have in the cabinets that maybe you haven't seen before. Guys, if you like seeing these things on the channel, I need to know. I need you to comment down below. I need you to hit the thumbs up button. And I'm considering, I'm throwing this out there. I've been talking about it on Instagram. I'm considering giving away a hot toy very soon. Like, very soon so guys if you want to see that you got to comment down below let me know if you'd actually like to win a hot toy from me and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button because obviously if i was going to give away a hot toy it would be to somebody who supports the channel i mean that's probably a gimme right so consider doing that guys i hope you have a great day collect what you like follow me on instagram for photos of these guys we'll see you next time you can call me stupid yes you can call me sheep I'm